welcome everybody to another episode of CCW Superstars of the Ring. Um, it seems that we've been having nothing but a lot of breaking news to tell you at the top of every episode leading up to Stampede 2014. And um, we we had some footage dealing with this mystery attacker. I know we said we weren't going to show anymore, but, but this crap, uh, I'm, I'm a little infuriated by what happened. So... Um, we're just going to go to it. I was trying to conduct an interview with Jamie McKinnon, and we're just going to let the footage speak for itself, people. This is Jerome Jackson, CCW fans, and I'm just sitting out here in front of the uh, locker room of the outlaw, Jamie McKinnon. Outlaw Jamie McKinnon. Waiting on you, man. JJ, what's going on, brother? Hey, man, I'm blessed. I'm How was the road? The road good? Hey, hold on one second, hold on one second, man. I got a call real quick. Oh, oh, JJ. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold, hold on, on, JJ. Let me, what are you doing? We were supposed to be on interview time as soon as I got here. You're just as bad as the, you're getting just as bad as the rest of these people, JJ. You on that silly phone? I'm here to do my job. I'm here to talk about things, and whenever you get ready, you come in there and get me. Silly behind people, starting to hate all of you, every one of you. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I've been ready, man. I've been here for a minute. Shoot. Hey, what's up, man? I don't know. I know, man. These wrestlers, these wrestlers are crazy, man. I don't even know what's going on. Let me check something real quick, man. I don't even know. Oh, God. Oh. Hey, man. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. Hey, go help him. Go help him. You're the one with the muscles. Go help him. Go help him, boy. Hey. CCW fans, the mystery attacker attacked again, this time going after Jamie McKinnon. You saw what happened to Drew Holiday and myself trying to intervene with Jamie. And the, the, honest to God, he's just a damn nut. But, show goes on. This mystery attacker, a couple weeks ago, sent in a letter um, stating how he wants a match with rock and roll Chris Turner. We heard a week ago from the commissioner that he will not sanction the match by CCW for this to happen, but he will give the time at this year's Stampede if Chris Turner wants to wrestle this mystery attacker. Chris has had some weeks to think about it, and he is sitting in this interview, so we're going to go straight to it. Hopefully Chris Turner... Hopefully so, man, because I'm tired of getting attacked myself by other people who assume that I'm the mystery attacker or assume that other people are the mystery attacker. So, Chris, please, please do something about this. You know, we're going into Stampede 2014, one of the biggest shows CCW's history. A few weeks ago, I got on here, I told everybody... Now, Rock and Roll Chris Turner was going to start training a little bit harder, start getting back to the level he was once at. But then, this mystery attacker, mystery assailant, this coward, as I like to call him, sends me a letter to pull me right into the mix of whatever he got going on. You know, it's a very serious situation when there's a lot of top athletes such as Ethan Marks, One Half of Zero Gravity, Bobby J, and the list goes on, Brian Blitz. The list keeps going on and on of the people you put out. So it's, it's a very serious situation. But I had my, my own situation with trying to get back to the top, the training. So I guess I wasn't paying as close as attention to it as I should have been. But then he sends me this letter 
and I, I'm not going to go into all the details of it. The only thing I can tell you fans is that he brought a lot of personal feelings of personal issues into it. This, this coward seems to think he has no respect. This, this guy seems to think that the only way to be respected is to go through me. Well, first of all, if you wanted a match with me, I've never backed down from anybody. I've gone against the toughest this business has to offer. Jamie McKinnon. I started years ago. Wrestled LOD, six foot six. I wrestled everybody as tall as they come to as short as they come. And I've never backed down from anybody. But for this mystery attacker to think putting people out to to injure people and put the, them out of wrestling is a way to get people's attention. Well, I guess it worked. Cause you got my attention. When you send a letter and you talk about my family and you talk about the personal things that you talked about in that letter, then you definitely got my attention. You want to match with me? I, I won't back down from this either. It will be one of the hardest things I've ever done going into a match not knowing who, what, how many. But I've never backed down. I won't now. I can't say that. I haven't got a lot of advice. I got um, a lot of people. Mad Dog Miller, Julia Marks, um, everybody who's been affected by this because of Ricky J saying they'll be in my corner. So that gives me a little comfort knowing I'm not going down there to ringside by myself. I will have people watching my back. And for you, I know how dangerous you are because you're doing it a coward's way, jumping people from behind. When you face somebody like Jamie McKinnon, one of the most dangerous men in professional wrestling, at least you know where he's coming from. He, he stands face to face with you and comes after you. With you, don't know what I'm getting into. But I'm going to tell you this. You said some things in that letter and I won't let go. You said some things in that letter that I really touched deep down Rock and Roll Chris Turner. And I will not back down. I will not let you put a bad mark on CCW. I've been in the CCW since 91. I've been here a long time and seen a lot of people come, a lot of people go. I have to say never has anybody caused as much havoc, injured as many people, and, and caused as much uncertainty as, as you have. Richard Marshall don't want to sanction this, and who can blame him? Like I said, nobody knows what I'm getting into. But on January 25th, Ferndine Beach Middle School, Stampede. It will be one for the history books. As I step in that ring, and I'm going to face you one-on-one. -on -one. Somebody I have no idea who you are. I have no idea how to prepare but rest assured, Rock and Roll Chris Turner will be there. And I will be at the top of my game. If you want to bring weapons, let me know and I'll bring weapons. If you want to bring others, let me know. I'll bring others. But just know, the way you're going about this, the way you're sneaking around being a coward, the way you're sending letters, getting very personal, that's not the way we do business here in CCW. So everything I've worked so hard for, to throw it out the window, because this is a lot more than just a hype. This is a lot more than, oh, let's build a match up. This is very serious. This is very personal. And if it's me that you want, January 25th, you have me. Just rest assured, I will be ready. Thank you, Rock and Roll Chris Turner. 
You heard it right there. So I'm guessing and hopefully the Commissioner Marshall will, is going to be a man of his word and keep his word. We will finally have opportunity to see rock and roll Chris Turner put into this mystery attacker, attackers, whoever, whomever it may be. Now, let's finally get into Match of the Week, which this week's Match of the Week puts a member of the collective versus a, a, a wrestler who started to become a fan favorite here in CCW. We get a chance to see the machine, Fred Avery, versus Otto Riley in this week's Match of the Week. He has one of the greatest songs, I swear to you, man. I love Otto Riley's music. <laughs>
There you have it, the machine for Ed Avery picking up a big victory against Otto Riley. And those are just two names that are going to be in this year's Battle Royal at Stampede 2014 at the Fernandina Beach Middle School, January 25th. And to go down the card real quick, just remember that the winner of said Battle Royal will face the CCW champion, Jonathan Wells, that same night in the main event for the CCW title. As well as you'll see the CCW tag team titles being defended by the Society of Sin against two members of two separate tag teams coming together, forming a super tag team per se. As you'll see, Julian Marks and Christian Starr team together for the first time ever. Now also being added is the CCW Southern States Championship as you'll see Mad Dog Miller defending his title against another collective member Daniel Anderson and you'll hear from him next week right here on Superstars of the Ring. And also a big big match that has just been signed for Sam P. 2014. It has been signed but not sanctioned by CCW. As you'll see, Rock and Roll Chris Turner facing the mystery attacker at Stampede 2014. The car seems just to keep getting bigger and bigger as weeks go along to January 25th. And to end this show, um, since I personally am no longer going to do any more interviews with Jamie McKinnon, we sent a camera crew to talk to Jamie a couple of days after being attacked by the mystery attacker or attackers and um, this is what in his in his world I guess this is what he had to say to the mystery attacker this is Jerome Jackson signing off for another episode of Superstars of the Rain have yourself a great day let me explain to you the footage that you seen last week that was me getting a hell beat out of me in a locker room that was me getting up and being very pissed off about somebody turning the lights off, hitting me in the back of the head. I've been in bar fights. i fought Turner all over the world. i fought everybody you want to fight, from Ric Flair to Stan Hansen. Now, that's fine. You want to go to Stampede and you want to reveal yourself. You want to go to Stampede and you want to face Chris Turner. So you can be a superstar along with the rest of us. Well, let me tell you something about being a superstar. Let me tell you something about being at the top of the mountain. You see, that comes with a price that you better be willing to pay. You see, when Chris Turner gets out of the bed in the morning, he looks over his shoulder to make sure that I ain't finna jump on him. You see... Because that's what being at the top does. Every time I walk in arena, I got to realize that if Chris Turner's there, there's liable to be a fight. I'm liable to get my head beat in. Oh, yeah. You jumped on me, and so I brought my cane. I'm the old man of the company. I'm 43 years old. But I also brought my other friend. Now, if you put a man on this, then you better at WrestleBash... 2014, you better be prepared from then back, from 2000, from the big show in 2014. You see, because I ain't real sure you're going to make it past January. I'm going to give you some time to heal up. I've been in the ring with Turner. You may not be able to physically walk after wrestling him. So I'm going to give you six months, seven months to heal up. And then... From that day where you and Turner wrestle, from then on, it's me. It's me, Monchichi. It's me, Paco. It's me, Taco. It's me from whatever country you are. From the night you wrestle Turner, from then on, you have to face me. Because I'm going to be in your dreams. I'm going to be there whenever you can't sleep at night. Whenever you go to a restaurant, because you don't jump on me without there being hell to pay. Now, with that being said, the old outlaws got a big announcement. I know this match between you and Turner is a big deal. And I know, I know the battle royal is a big deal. And I know who's going to win that. It's going to be me. And I'm going to be the world champion. I wouldn't make this statement here 
unless I fully believe something. And let me tell you this. Two or three weeks ago, Turner got on here and he had big alligator tears running down his eyes and he said, I don't know if I can do this anymore. Well, there's no doubt in my mind that I can do it, Jack. None. I never doubt one person in this business and that's me. So, 2014, if I do not win the world CCW Heavyweight Championship in 2014, by God, I'll walk out the door and I won't come back no more. No more comebacks. No more after surgery on my shoulders, after surgery on my back. If I don't win it in the year of 2014, I'll be gone. I will walk away forever and ever and ever and ever again. But mystery assailant, mystery person, I want to tell CCW Wrestling fans something right now. This isn't going to be no great surprise on who this is. It's not somebody from outside our company. It's somebody from right there inside our company. Because the guy walks around us, he walked around me, he walked around JJ, he's walked around everybody, cousin, Ricky, Bobby, J, Jr., the first guy he beat the hell out of, which really didn't bother me none. Then they beat somebody else up, and that didn't bother me none. They beat the manager of the collective up, that didn't bother me none. But whenever you put your hands on me, boy, I'm talking about when you turn the lights out and hit me in the back of the head with something. Well, now you got somebody's attention that can give it back. You see, Turner's going to beat you up one night. And then Chris is going to go on. Southern States champion, tag team champion, world champion in 2014. But that's not the way I operate. I operate like this. I'm going to put pain upon your body for the rest of your life. Or the rest of mine in 2014. Whichever way it works out. You're either getting the cane. Or you're getting the branding iron. But you're going to get it mystery assailant. And don't be surprised. If the outlaw don't run in there that night. Kick Chris Turner in his mouth. Just to have something to do. Because I don't like him. And then kick you in your mouth. Just to have something to do. Because you put your hands on me. You want to be big time? You want to play in the shark's tank? You better bring something better than what you're bringing because you hit like a girl.